Well, we now see the headline from WorldNet Daily. The police are investigating the possible poisoning homicide of one of the head coroners in Los Angeles, and it may have been the coroner who actually worked on Andrew Breitbart. Now, just a week ago, we saw the head office say a preliminary uh, examination says that it wasn't some type of trauma that killed him, that there wasn't too much trauma. And the Daily Caller came out and said, well, that's it, Alex Jones is discredited. Uh, man, they're saying that he died of heart failure. When their report says in the preliminary report before the full report was coming out that there wasn't too much trauma. And I'll show you that document here in just a moment. Look, all I'm saying is no one I know, including people inside Fox News I've talked to off record, believes that the night before he says he's going to release stuff that will destroy Obama on a whole host of issues, communist funding, all sorts of stuff, and then he ends up dying that night, and instantly, within hours, the media says, no foul play, totally natural, go back to sleep. That's why I say it was suspicious. And everybody else I know says that. On the street, talk radio listeners, uh, people across the board. And then I heard an NPR piece two weeks ago where they said, oh, he dropped dead and connected him to Nazis. I mean, it was a weird report by the editor uh, of Newsweek, just, just showing their frothing hatred. I'm not saying Breitbart was perfect. I, I mean, I didn't agree with a lot of his pro-war stuff. The point is, he did bring down Akron. He was exposing all these major things, and he had a lot of enemies. And within two hours of we finding out that he's dead, they're immediately saying, no foul play, move along. Let me show you some of these articles right here. Here's World Net Daily. We've got our own reports at Infowars.com. Breitbart's coroner poisoned to death, question mark. Police probe mysterious demise of L.A. medical examiner. So there it is right there for you. Uh, let's go ahead and go to the next article. Here's the Daily Caller. And they go on to have my quotes in here about how everybody you know, that I talk to thinks this stinks to high heaven. And, you know, that's just the kind of stuff that... Um, that Alex Jones says, radio host Alex Jones, noted for his conspiracy theories, that means not believing known liars in government, I'm not a schmuck, addressed Breitbart's death on, or a sucker, on March 1st, on March 1st show and said, everybody I know says this stinks to high heaven, Jones said. They're all in danger. If they did kill him over the video, I don't know what he was thinking. Having that and going, you know, he can bring down Obama. I'm going to release it. I mean, I'm going to hype it. But I guess he thought he was bulletproof. And so they go on to quote me there. Uh, and then he died, ladies and gentlemen. And now one of the coroners had died. But let me show you more. Let me show you more here. Here is the coroner's document. And it's preliminary. It says preliminary. Manner of death. Natural. This is the preliminary report. No significant trauma was present, and foul play is not suspected. It is anticipated the final coroner report will be available for release within two weeks. Did this uh, coroner there, the, well, the medical examiner, did he not go along with things? I mean, what are they going to say about this? How many people need to die? You know, it's like the uh, whole Bin Laden thing. They release a fake situation room photo, later admit it was fake, they weren't watching Bin Laden be killed. Then they say you can't see the body, threw him in the ocean. Then the Navy SEAL helicopter with the SEALs speaking out blows up and they die from SEAL Team 6. The SEALs that got on the helicopter are supposedly with Bin Laden. That helicopter blew up that night. And now it's the one-year anniversary coming up. I mean, how obvious does this have to get? Lies about WMDs. All the lies we know, the secret testing on our troops, the Tuskegee experiments, it goes on and on. You'd be crazy out of hand to believe the official story. If they'd have come out and said, wow, suspicious, we've got to go to the coroner and find out it'll be weeks and weeks like Whitney Houston, I would have said, well, okay, maybe he did die of a heart attack. But the fact that instantly he died of natural causes, get used to it and shut up and don't ask questions. It's like Bill Clinton's medical examiner, Fami Malik. You could have 20 bullet wounds in you and be chopped up and they'd say you committed suicide. Or... Gary Webb won a Pulitzer Prize for Dark Alliance on the CIA drug trafficking now admitted. That poor guy uh, got shot twice in the head. And they said, oh, that's completely normal. And I talked to him months before. He said he was getting threats. And I talked to other witnesses who were his friends that said the same thing. People have been breaking in his house. If I get shot twice in the head or fall down dead, and people announce immediately don't look into it, they killed me, just like the D.C. madam. 
Okay, I'm out of time. I'll see you on the radio today. Coming up in just a few minutes, we'll be covering it at InfoWars.com. Please continue to spread the word about this information, folks. This thing stinks to high heaven.